Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce AI Champions. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to use web retrievers in prompt templates so that we can just search uh, directly into the prompt template so that based on a uh, question or based on a text, we can perform the web search, the internet search, uh, and we are, we are, will be getting the response in the prompt. So first of all, we can just in in couple of sessions back, I have just created one tutorial like how to do web search uh, using Einstein data library. I will be adding that tutorial link in this video description. So in that case, I created like uh, Einstein data library record with the data type like uh, web and use that data library directly into the agent so that uh, agent can perform web search. <laughs> so uh first of all uh that uh einstein from the how we can just access those retrievers so from the einstein studio app we can find under this einstein studio these retrievers so under the retrievers we can find this web search retriever and the current status of this retriever is active and this type is individual and data source is web and uh this this is the out of the box retriever uh provided by salesforce so so first of all uh this uh, what are the retrievers like we can use retriever to search and return relevant data from a data source and we can just create our own retrievers in data cloud and uh, we can perform uh, uh different web searches using these uh, web retrievers and uh, let me just uh, create so I'll be using this web search retriever into this uh, prompt template. So I'll be just clicking on this setup. And in here, I'll be search for prompt builder. So under the Einstein generative AI, we can find this prompt builder. And I'll be just click on this new prompt template. And in here, I'll be choosing this flex prompt template. So flex prompt template provides the capability of taking one free text input so and i'll be provide the prompt template name like flex web search retriever and in here in the input section we can we can just add up to five data sources to include in our prompt instructions so and uh, i'll be just providing the name like input text In the source type i'll be selecting free text so that based on this free text that user is provided so based on this free text the web search can be performed so i'll be just click on the next and uh, so uh, we can just access those web retrievers like from the insert resources so in the insert resources under this einstein search we can find this web uh, under this web retriever we can find our web retriever and its api name is sfdc underscore ai double underscore web retriever action so so and the help text says that web search retriever retrieves search result from the internet so i'll be choosing this one and uh, another thing so i'll be just uh, updating the prompt let me just uh, write down the prompt so based on the input text and then now i'll be just adding my input text that is the free text so i'll be adding this input text uh, perform the web search using the web retriever this one right <laughs> So this is how we can just simply write our prompt and let me just try to save so we need to just specify the search text so under this uh, details uh, so under this web search retriever we can just add this search parameter so in the search text we just need to include our input text element so now we are good to go to save this uh, uh, prompt template now our prompt template got saved now let me just preview this one and let me just write down some uh, random text like tell me about range rover cars 
and let me just hit on this preview button and we can see that the uh, web search is getting uh, executed and we can see different uh, in the result prompt we are seeing different uh, web search uh, websites are visited like this one then uh, this one these are the website got visited and we are getting this prompt response like range rover cars are the line of luxury suvs produced by the british automaker land rover known for their combination of off-road capability and premium features range rovers are designed to offer both performance and comfort so this is how we can just perform the web search using the web retriever and let me just add um, some other prompt text like tell me about Porsche cars and then we are just getting our responses as expected like a Porsche cars are renowned German automobile manufacturer specializing in high performance sports car SUVs and sedans so in the prompt response uh, sometimes uh, means most of the time we can see the data sources like what are the websites uh, visited with this web search so that data sources should display but somehow in the in this response those uh, data source are not showing so let me just try with another prompt tell me about meta ai innovations and let me just preview this one so i do not have specific information regarding material innovation based on the provided search results it's not finding any details okay let me check with And now you can just see uh, it's uh, performing the web search correctly and here we are just getting the information like here is an overview of the meta platform based on the search results and it's showing the source uh, source as well like this is a description like cultural principles so based on this prompt we need to provide the prompt very efficiently so that it can perform the web search and in the description we can see that meta is building technology that connects you to people interest and experiences that matter to you and in here the source is also showing like meta company information and if i just click on this link we can be redirected to this uh, meta website and this is how this web search is getting executed and if i just click on another uh, link like in here it's from the wikipedia and it says that meta platform science is an american multinational technology company headquartered in menlo park california meta owns and operates several prominent social media platforms and if i just click on this link it will be redirected to the wikipedia website so this is how we can see that uh, the web search is getting you executed properly and we can see the different data sources are also showing and some key points to be noted like there are par some permission sets that needs to be uh, assigned to the user to execute this einstein search so that that search includes like uh, if i just open my user and in here in the permission set assignments these are the permission sets needs to be there for the user to execute the Einstein web search like this data cloud user permission set then data cloud architect permission set then prompt template manager in order to execute that web search in this prompt 
so this prompt template manager permission says provide the means executing and creating the prompt template permissions so these are the permission set needs to be there to execute <coughs> this web search uh, within this prompt template so that's all about this tutorial so we can just activate uh, that um, our prompt template in order to execute uh, in order to use the template in uh, various places like from flows uh, from apex we can just use this prompt template so i'll be adding more tutorials on salesforce and omni studio topics so please stay tuned if you like this video please do like share subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching